Man rescued from bottom of well after five long days. A 57-year-old man in Indonesia has been pulled bruised but alive from a well after spending five harrowing days at the bottom of it. Ramadan says he was abducted on March 27th by two men who robbed him and later dumped him in the well to dispose of the only witness. Ramadan's bizarre story begins during a night drive back to his town in central Java. The route took him along a toll road. After passing through the toll gate, two strange men appeared and made him stop his car. They forcibly took him from the car and manhandled him into theirs. Inside the car, Ramadan says he was brutally beaten before passing out. He believes he was then robbed before being dumped in the well, not far from the site of his kidnapping. Ramadan says he woke the next day and learned of his fate. He tried to make an SOS call to his family, but couldn't get a signal from the bottom of the 50-foot deep well. After surviving in agony for five days, a villager out gardening heard his calls and sent for help. With only a broken left foot and abrasions to his body, Ramadan came out of the ordeal pretty well. But his story is a bit odd. If Ramadan was robbed, why didn't the thieves take his phone? Police are still investigating. Keep watching for some of the most audacious robberies covered by Tomo News. Thieves make off with four million US dollars in gold after robbing an armored truck. Two Transvalue security guards say they lost four million US dollars in gold after their truck broke down during transport and they were robbed by three armed men. Two Transvalue security guards were hauling precious metals from Florida to Massachusetts on Sunday evening when their truck developed mechanical problems and they had to pull over on the Interstate 95 near the 114 mile mark in Wilson County. The guards said that's when three armed men in a van approached and ordered them to get down on the ground before tying their hands behind their backs and forcing them to walk into the woods. The guard said the thieves took several barrels of gold estimated at more than four million U.S. dollars in value. WITN reported that it appeared the thieves had cut off the locks on the backs of the security truck's doors. The owner of the transport company, Jesus Rodriguez, told local media that such a heist was very rare. According to the Transvalue website, the company's shipments are insured up to 100 million U.S. dollars. Gang empty 300 safety deposit boxes from underground vault in Brazen, London diamond heist. Hundreds of safety deposit boxes were emptied from Hatton Garden Safe Deposit Company in London's jewellery district over the Easter weekend, in a dramatic heist straight out of a Hollywood movie. The Hatton Garden thieves reportedly entered the company's premises through an elevator shaft in the building. They then used heavy cutting equipment to reach the vault. They were also able to disarm the security system, allowing them to cut through the vault over the Easter weekend undisturbed. The thieves emptied an estimated 300 safety deposit boxes. Jewelry experts said the lost items could amount to around 60 million British pounds. Caught on camera, man choked unconscious in Rolex robbery. On February 10th, two men were caught on camera violently assaulting a 46-year-old man at his workplace, a van for hire shop in Greenwich, London. According to Metropolitan Police, the men were after the victim's gold Rolex yacht master watch, similar to this one, worth £15,000. A camera outside the shop caught the two men approaching. According to police, the suspect stood outside for some time, appearing to look at the price list before entering. Once inside the shop, one suspect begins choking the victim from behind, while the other attempts to grab his arm. At one point, the victim tries to fight back, slapping one robber in the face. But that only intensifies the situation as he is wrestled to the floor. And as he is choked unconscious, the robber still can't seem to get a hold of his arm. Once he finally does, it takes a bit for the thief to actually steal the watch. There you go, Mr. Robber. And there goes one 15,000 pound Rolex. The thieves leave the victim gasping for air. Luckily, he didn't require a hospital treatment and did not sustain any serious injuries. Well, except a 15,000 pound dent in his wallet. Pokemon Go users fall victim to armed robbers. 
A popular new smartphone app is encouraging users to catch them all. But instead of catching Pokemon, some nefarious robbers in Missouri used it to lure victims instead. Pokemon Go uses augmented reality to place pocket monsters or Pokemon in real-world locations. Users can then catch and collect them using a smartphone and GPS signal. The game features locations called Pokestops where users can gain or buy items. At one such Pokestop in O'Fallon, Missouri, four men set up a lure module to attract Pokemon. The lure is seen by other players who flock to the area to catch the creatures. Once the player arrives at the location, the men proceed to rob them at gunpoint. Officers were able to arrest the four robbers on Sunday. They were believed to be responsible for almost a dozen robberies in two Missouri counties. Three of the suspects have been charged with first-degree robbery and armed criminal action. The fourth, a 16-year-old, is currently in juvenile custody.